Okay, so within this basalt flow, uh, it's very interesting because this is just an interpretation, my interpretation. So here we have vesticular basalt. So this is a, a top of a previous flow and it has a lot of uh, calcium carbonate. Now it would have been precipitated after the vesicles formed. And then as we go up, we get this highly iron stained material. This could have occurred at any time. But as we go up, we get a lot of soil development. So we get a lot of clays. A lot of the material has been highly weathered and it's a lot of it's in boulder form. So up the top here we have a, a clay horizon, which is the grey stuff. So this is a paleo soil. You have a lot of calcrete in between, so this is uh where in the past a lot of uh water has evaporated, deposited the calcium carbonate. And then on top of that we have massive basalt flow so this doesn't have the vesicles although this has all been fractured and broken you can still tell so this is another flow that's deposited on top of uh, this paleosaur so probably quite a few thousand years I would say uh, there's only one date for this basalt I don't know which depth it is but it's uh, two and a half million years ago so I'd say it's more likely it's probably uh, the top and that's um, I think is it argon argon or potassium argon I don't know I have to look it up so this soil is probably about two and a half million years old so that's very interesting that's what happens when you find out crops like this go along here yeah this has also been highly weathered but also because this is fractured uh, the water would have continued to precipitate so a lot of this weathering probably also happened after it was buried so it just continues to weather and here's a lot of the actual soil horizons